Now at 11, hope for a high school football quarterback pouring in from family and friends after a tackle during a game Friday night leaves him without movement in his legs. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer is live from Grady Memorial Hospital. Bridget, how is he doing now? Carly Carson is out of surgery. He is now in the ICU recovering here at Grady Hospital tonight. His family, friends and teammates by his side. We're told he's actually in pretty good spirits despite the devastating injury that he's facing right now. There are many ways to describe Carson Kimball. A classic straight A student, handsome, tall, strong, kind hearted and good. And he remains that same young man despite his circumstances. He is in the ICU. It was Friday night when the senior Bremen High School quarterback was playing against the Bowden Red Devils, a longtime rival. His father called me in distress that his son had just been tackled and was seriously injured. He was struck by two very large tacklers on the other team and, and um, just landed on his neck wrong. The stadium fell eerily silent all in concern for Kimball. He was taken to Grady Hospital where he underwent surgery. He suffered a, a burst fracture of his sixth vertebrae in his, in his uh, neck and it caused injury to the spinal cord. Kimball is not able to feel his legs, but strides are being made. He had some uh, movement in his arms and wrists that they didn't expect in, in a positive direction and, uh, and it brought a lot of optimism. His family thinks everyone has been praying for him. In fact, the Bremen High School principal told Atlanta News First on Saturday about a prayer group that gathered at the stadium right after it all happened. I don't think we can we can believe in anything else but a miracle at this point. Uh, that's I mean that's that's where our hope is. Counting on a miracle as he begins a long road to recovery. The hope is that since they've already seen um, rapid recovery of the arms and, and motion that that can extend down to below the waist as well. Now, as you certainly can imagine, the medical bills have certainly started to pile up at this point. An online fundraiser has been started to help the family with those medical bills. You can learn more about that fundraiser on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. For now, we're live from Grady Memorial Hospital tonight. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Certainly wishing him well, Bridget. Thank you. Labor Day weekend.